Academy Award-winning actor, narrator, and producer Morgan Freeman owns a 124-acre ranch near Charleston, Mississippi. He acquired this land from his parents in 1991 and built a hacienda-style home on the property which serves as his sanctuary. While he's long been a working actor in Hollywood, he's managed to maintain his privacy and loves living on his peaceful and sprawling property. On his Mississippi ranch, Freeman maintains several horses. In 2019, he took a significant step towards environmental conservation too by importing 26 beehives and planting lavender and magnolia trees transforming his estate into a honeybee sanctuary. Morgan Freeman is certainly a renowned and timeless actor, but despite his celebrity even ongoing at the age of 86, he manages to stay out of the limelight, avoiding the tabloids and entertainment news circuits. He's maintained a remarkably scandal-free life with only one minor incident involving a car accident that was quickly resolved as a legitimate mishap. Freeman's powerful sense of self combines a gentle arrogance stemming from his confidence with humility born from life's challenges. Despite Freeman's talent in the entertainment industry, it wasn't until he was 50 that he landed his first major movie role as the menacing pimp Fast Black in Street Smart, earning him an Oscar nomination and propelling him into Hollywood's consciousness. Morgan Freeman was born on June 1st, 1937 in Memphis, Tennessee as the middle child of five. His early years were spent in the thick mud of segregation, two years before the onset of World War II. At the age of six, Freeman's family moved to Chicago notorious South Side, a place he later described as perilous with frequent gang fights. This environment led him to run to and from school daily for safety. School became his refuge, where teachers and his mother pushed him towards drama. He performed in his first school play at eight and knew by age 13 that he wanted to be an actor. However, his aspirations shifted when his family moved to Greenwood, Mississippi, where he decided to become a fighter pilot. He joined the Air Force at 18, but became disillusioned with military life, realizing that reality didn't match the glamorous portrayal in movies. After his discharge, he moved to Hollywood, struggling initially before deciding to try his luck in New York. In New York, Freeman worked various jobs and performed in off-Broadway productions, receiving praise but failing to break through. In 1971, he landed a role on the PBS kids show, The Electric Company, where he stayed for six years. He continued to pursue his craft and eventually made it to Broadway in 1978. His breakout role in Street Smart on film led to a second Oscar nomination for Driving Miss Daisy and roles in iconic films like Unforgiven and Million Dollar Baby, for which he won an Oscar. When it comes to Morgan Freeman's love life, he was married to Jeanette Adair Bradshaw from 1967 till their divorce in 1979. The couple had one child together and Freeman's adopted Bradshaw's daughter from a previous relationship too. In 1984, he married Myrna Cauley Lee, a relationship that lasted until their divorce in 2010. Freeman's family life has seen its share of tragedies and challenges too. He has four children, Alfonso, Dina, Morgana, and Safule. Alfonso Freeman followed in his father's footsteps, pursuing a career in acting. In 2015, Freeman faced a personal tragedy when his granddaughter, Adina Hayes, was murdered in New York City, a loss that deeply affected him. Despite his high-profile career and personal challenges, Freeman maintains a low profile, avoiding tabloid culture that envelops men many celebs. His ability to stay grounded is seen in his strong sense of self and the privacy he keeps around his personal life. Morgan often responds to the question of how he escaped Mississippi with humor, saying, I took the bus. The more interesting story is why he returned. He realized that Mississippi is where he was happiest and where he belongs. These days he lives on land near Charleston that his grandparents owned, which he purchased from his parents in 1991. He built a beautiful hacienda style house on the property, which is his sanctuary, and he keeps several horses there. Near Clarksdale, he co-owns the renowned Ground Zero Blues Club and the upscale restaurant Medidi with his close friend Bill Luckett. There's not much out there when it comes to specific information on Morgan Freeman's residences, but it's clear he keeps things that way on purpose. His main longtime home is a stunning 124-acre ranch near Charleston, Mississippi, set upon land which he purchased from his parents in 1991. Morgan then built a sprawling hacienda 
weekend style home on the property, which looks a lot more like a mansion thanks to aerial views. It's said that within the walls of the actor's mansion, he has a library, great room, dining room, movie theater, and much more. Outside, we can see the large swimming pool, while elsewhere it's said Morgan keeps other amenities such as a golf range. The now 86 year old movie star certainly enjoys the solitude that only his Mississippi ranch can provide. Freeman also keeps several horses on his property whom he tends to, one of which is named Junebug. Then in 2019, he imported 26 beehives planting lavender and magnolia trees too, transforming the estate to double as a honeybee sanctuary. Freeman told Larry King Live, there's been a frightening loss of bee colonies, particularly in this county, to such an extent that the scientists are now saying this is dangerous. Freeman actually began beekeeping back in 2014. He also shared the experience with Jimmy Fallon, saying, I don't have to put on a bee suit or anything to feed them. Never been stung. Freeman emphasized the crucial role honeybees play in pollination and environmental health, adding, we do not realize they are the foundation, I think, of the growth of the planet, the vegetation. He started with 26 hives imported from Arkansas and he plans only to feed the bees, not harvest their honey. Freeman's also planted bee-friendly vegetation across his property. As we can see from Morgan Freeman's Mississippi property and his life story, his experiences have shaped him from the very beginning. From his early struggles in segregated America to his illustrious acting career and tranquil life on his Mississippi ranch, Morgan has built up plenty of wisdom along the way. His love life has been marked by deep relationships and profound losses while his family remains as essential parts of his journey. Despite the fame, Freeman has managed to keep his personal life private, including his secluded yet sprawling ranch, embodying a blend of confidence and humility that continues to inspire many. That wraps up this house tour for today, but before we go, answer this question for me. Would you be keep if you had a large enough property? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss a video. I'm Kara. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Kara, or Kara the Vampire Slayer as you might know me, and given my love for all things house and home, I recently wanted to get more hands on myself, and I started tackling DIY projects at my own house. Being a new homeowner, there are plenty of unexpected things to fix, and it's cool to learn what you're doing and hopefully be able to fix it yourself. There are also plenty of DIY projects suitable for beginners like me to do, and ones that improve the look of your space drastically. Follow me and I'll teach you what I'm learning and motivate you to join me. You can DIY on a budget, even if you're a total beginner. Follow me on Fix It With Kara and we can chat.